Hey guys, I'm Abhishek from Plugin India. All of us at Plugin India own only electric vehicles and create content for the EV community. In this episode, we're going to talk about the recent viral video from a political channel, Vyond, who released a story with an eye-popping clickbaity title, "Blood: Colon, The Dark Side of Electric Vehicles." This video has got over a million views, and judging by the comments, most people seem to agree with the presenter and see EVs as worse than pollution vehicles. So are these facts or is this just clickbait? The main issue raised in the video is about the use of cobalt in EV batteries and how mining of cobalt is dangerous. Also, there are human rights violations in countries where it is mined. The real picture of the EV industry is not shown here. Either they are purposely withholding facts or they are simply ignorant. Unfortunately, that is the reality of mainstream media today. Most EV related reports are essentially hit pieces with selective facts and sensational headlines. Essentially, the presenter says children in the Congo are dying mining cobalt and as more and more electric cars are being manufactured. She also says that cobalt is needed for all batteries in electric cars. We've seen this kind of anti content before, haven't we? EVs are bad because of coal. EVs are bad because of China. Now, EVs are bad because of cobalt. What's next? EVs are bad because they use steel. It boggles my mind. The same media never questioned how petrol is manufactured or refined or extracted or how ice cars are made. Where are such articles or videos by the media? What pisses me off is how these media organizations make generic statements, use sensational headlines, leave out the real facts with the goal of driving the narrative that EVs are bad. Unfortunately, people don't do their own research and fall for such propaganda. Here is the reality guys. In China, 70% of EVs use battery battery packs that don't have cobalt. More than 95% of electric cars in India use battery packs that don't use cobalt. Yes, you heard that right. In the western world, many car manufacturers are using high nickel NMC batteries with less cobalt. They are planning to phase out cobalt in their battery packs. So as you can see, cobalt use in batteries was hardly an issue in Asia. and it will no longer be one once it's phased out in 2030 the big change we are noticing is the rise of lithium ion phosphate batteries these batteries use zero cobalt and use iron in the cathode the tata nexon ev the tigor ev the byd e6 and even the classic mahindra e2o mica uses these cells these cells are safer they don't explode they are more tolerant to heat and they have decent energy density So why would vehicle manufacturers use NMC cells? It does not make any sense. Even Elon Musk says that LFP is the future. In fact, with the release of Tesla's quarter 1 2022 financial results, Tesla confirmed that nearly half of all vehicles produced are now using LFP batteries. He said and I quote, "Diversification of battery chemistries is critical for long-term capacity growth to better optimize our products for their various use cases and expand the supplier base." This is why nearly half of Tesla vehicles produced in Q1 were equipped with an LL lithium ion phosphate batteries containing no nickel or cobalt. End quote. The entire video is based on the premise of the use of cobalt in electric car batteries. Are there major human rights issues and child labor issues in those mines? Yes. It is a big problem that the government of the Congo is not tackling. It is definitely a major issue. But then the video does not talk about the how the entire EV industry is moving away from cobalt. But the presenter in this video says there is blood in these batteries and when you drive in electric cars you have blood on your hands. Well, these are the kinds of word that will get you views and money. If you scroll through the comment section you'll see thousands of morons who are blindly accepting an opinion piece without doing any research. This is an opinion piece. That is all it is. Unfortunately, the narrative has been set and people are accepting this as a fact. I want to end this misinformation by saying that by 2050, power grids of most countries will have more renewable energy powering them than fossil fuels. The world will use more electric cars than pollution cars and we'll have multiple new battery technologies like LFP, sodium ion and solid state batteries. All these will power electric cars and allow them to go more than 1000 kilometers on a single charge. All of this will result in a rapid decrease in emissions and we will have more blue skies all over the world. I believe in this future which the EV and renewable industry are working towards. What kind of future do you believe in? 
it is up to you to not fall for fossil fuel industry propaganda. I implore you, do your own research whenever you see any negative anti-EV article or video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.